Ken, the Pirates split again this weekend, fourth week in a row that we've won one and lost one. Uh, a, a tough game at Pacific, but a pretty impressive bounce back the next night at Lewis and Clark. You take us back through what you saw and what you bring out of this weekend. Yeah, so um, start with Friday and then kind of <laughs> move in an upward trajectory. Um, yeah, Friday was disappointing on a lot of fronts for us. Kind of just a wake-up call as far as, you know, hopefully not just the last four games of the regular season that we know we have, but as well building into the future and knowing what, you know, physical aggressive play looks like in our conference and what it takes to be successful, even though, you know, we played a Pacific squad that was down, you know, two or three key players for them. They really kind of believe and trust in their system. And they were able to really kind of instill and enforce their will and what they wanted to get out of the game early. And it was just kind of tough for us to, you know, match that intensity when you're not essentially, you know, kind of ready to meet what another team is doing, even though it was a very simple game plan. It was just kind of a thing where if you're not ready to go, a team like that just wants to, you know, constantly drive and put a lot of pressure on you was able to do that on the offensive end. Um, and then for us, not as big of a turnover issue, but just really with the amount of points in the paint they were able to capitalize on really kind of set it for that's where we found ourselves, you know, down 20 plus in the first half, ended the first half on a positive run, and then just weren't able to kind of, you know, match that intensity after we really didn't know what it um, took. And then kind of building off of knowing what it took Friday, Saturday we came with a lot more focus, obviously a slower play, paced game when you have a team that lo likes to zone, but we were prepared for that coming into it and really just kind of took them out of some of the things that they had success in here at our place about a month ago and really kind of handled the zone much better as far as taking care of the ball. There were some inst instances of turnovers, but on the whole we had, you know, people in good spots to make shots like Kim had a good performance, Liv had a good all-around game, and kind of just built off of that, hopefully going into a good momentum for tomorrow night. Before we talk about tomorrow night's game and this week, the mm -hmm. Pirates still in the hunt for a, a conference tournament spot. Uh, how much is that on the mind of this team, and, and is that uh, something that's really a motivator going into these last two weeks? Um, if, if you need motivation, then that there, there it is for you. I think for the players, some of them, it's just like, you know, especially the seniors, every game has really mattered to them. I think for quite a stretch now, I really just think it's like taking every game individually and knowing that, obviously, like you mentioned, the splits, we wanted some of those to be some of the sweep weekends like we've you know talked about in some of the past versions of these. But I think it's something where if you need kind of a big long-term goal to reach for, then look at the conference tournament. And if you're someone that's more short-term, like every you know every game matters, every half, every quarter matters. So I think it's something where you just can control what you can. Obviously, we need some things to work out in our favor externally outside of the games we can control. But that's something still in our mind because that was a goal coming into the season. This week we've got a, a very tough game tomorrow night against Whitman, uh, a team that's on the longest winning streak right now in the conference. And and then on the road at a traditionally tough opponent in George Fox. Uh, talk about what these matchups look like and, and the challenges ahead. Yeah, very, very straightforward games. Um, like you said, Whitman's on a really good roll right now. After that, you know, loss, they got tripped up against Pacific at their place. They've been on a um, good roll, obviously. And we know that it's a simple game plan. They're a team that's not very deep, but they have experience through the course of just this season, as well as players that have experienced in their past really successful teams as well. So just knowing that there were some key mistakes that got us in trouble as far as just taking care of the ball early down in Walla Walla and then just not being able to execute some of the simple half court stuff. So hopefully now that we've seen and lived it we can learn from you know more of the film from that first contest and kind of sure up some of those things and then playing against the George Fox team down at their place um, this Friday evening and knowing that they're also playing what they're playing better than they did kind of that first that first round through conference and they're also in the hunt I think currently they're in the fifth spot trying to get in so Every game matters, you know, equally. There's a lot of desperation and urgency on both sides when we get to Friday. But we know that, you know, Fox is going to be coming looking for revenge after a game where they probably felt like a few things bounced differently, a few quarters turned differently. They have a, you know, different record as well. So we just know, you know, take one game at a time, and it's just like you're still looking to just build off that momentum and get back to, you know, two, three, four-game win streak.